Liverpool as well as managing their machines today. The bikers will have to deal with the cold. Nothing like a little campfire to get warmed up before the stage, which began at 7.45 a.m. Yeah, it's pretty chilly, and we're going to be heading further north, but we knew it was going to be like this up here. It's the start of the second week, and we're simply going to try to push all the way to the finish line. Well, the road books, as ever, distributed 20 minutes before setting off. Now, Ross Branch has had a dream Dakar so far, going into the second week in fourth place overall for the Yamaha factory team. But the Motswana's hopes of a podium finish took a serious blow, just 31 kilometers into this seventh stage. I think the chain came off just before I hit a bump and then I was in neutral and then I went over the handlebars and it's terrible for you, it's terrible. You can try to repair. Yeah for sure I try. Well that bent chain guard costing branch over 40 minutes and likely a shot at this year's title. Daniel Sanders also took a spill late in the day. The Aussie had been doing a superb job of opening after he caught Joanne Bereda and Ricky Brabeck. Not much time lost, and he's back into the top 10. Brabeck has described this Dakar as wild, and he really pushed today to try to close the 20 minute deficit to the leaders. If anything, he pushed a little too hard, taking the stage win. And that of course means that he will be setting off in first place tomorrow. I think the strategy is to not open. I think everyone that's opening is just losing a little bit of time. So um, we're trying our best. We just have to stay focused. Uh, there's five days left. Now it was looking like a good outing for Kevin Benavides, who turned 32 yesterday, but he made a navigational error late on, which cost him almost 10 minutes and no doubt the overall lead. Instead, he drops down to fifth overall. Xavier de Sultre, on the other hand, had a perfect day, picking up where he left off in week one. The Frenchman cruising over the dunes with his mate Franco Caimi and moving up to fourth overall, he's only two and a half minutes off the pace. A hectic day was how Sam Sunderland described it, but the KTM man's quietly snuck up into third place overall without going higher than fourth on a stage. The 2017 winner determined to avoid the yo-yo effect and ride an intelligent rally between here and Jeddah. This Dakar's uh, really tough, really difficult navigation and um, you need to stay super focused at all times because the trap's always coming, you know. Toby Price caught up with Adrian van Beveren and they rode together for a good part of the stage. The Australian avoiding any major issues and coming seventh even if he slipped off top spot by the tightest of margins. Nacho Corneco's the sixth different rider to lead the rally, putting the hammer down after a minor issue with his fuel tank connector. Incredibly, he leads Price by just one second. Yeah, everyone is going really fast. There's a lot of very fast guys, you know. So I think till the end, it's going to be pushing every day. Brabeck leading them home, which means he is now 15 minutes back overall. Skyler Howes with a superb third place as he moves up to seventh overall. They've covered nearly 3,000 kilometers, but Corneco and Price are separated by a solitary second. Sunderland, De Sultra and Benavides round out the top five. Well, there was drama in the quads meanwhile. The overall leader, Nicolas Cavigliasso, is out after his clutch broke at kilometer 374. Bitter disappointment for the 2019 winner. The new leader is his fellow Argentine, Manuel Andahar, who was fourth last year. He took the stage win today, and he now has a 21-minute advantage over Alexandre Giroud.